Okay, we'll just do a quick update on the uh, on the old tools. I've been collecting since my last uh, video about my tools. Anyway, what we've got is the uh, the start of my extractor kit. There's uh, a couple of saw extractors on the end, a couple of side winders. There's a couple of pairs of the uh, pliers, left and right handed. Pliers over them guys. Uh, I'll do these ones in a second. And this is the start of my uh, bypass kit here as well. It's an uh, American bypass tool, and Peterson knife and a mini knife. So uh, just some jigglers. Got some uh, some pin holders there for the Euro cylinders when I make some uh, piano wire ends for them. And of course the the old uh, comb picks in there. Let's check that out for a minute. Yeah, this is the set I wanted to get to. Now all these picks in here except for one is a Peterson and then of course is the uh, is the um, bow guitar here from Rockpick Tools but it's only because Petersons don't make one all the rest are government steel I uh, want a little decap pick there and some some uh, thin Peterson steel uh, like the uh, Euro type profile um, I asked Coco Moloch about his Peterson pry bars and what he thought of them and um, mine turned up in the mail, it wasn't too long after that and they have a pry bar and a pry bar light and uh, I liked them so much I actually got a spare so um, I was a big fan of the 612 um, tension on the keyway so these just feel really good for me so it's pretty good um, another few little <coughs> excuse me, it's getting late uh, tension wrenches the um, what kit was it? I think it was a I think it was a Kiwi pick set that they come in and of course there's just another couple of spares in there um, what picks do I have in here? Of, uh, the diamond half ball city, short hook there's a gem and a rake, a postal, it's a long reach, it's a W rake. Um, I think that one's called the wave rake, I can't remember. And the uh, quad rake, the deforest, I think he calls this an offset diamond now. And there, of course, is my second um, short hook, just for a spare. Uh, so, that's about it for the picks. Oh. Well, for these type anyway what we've got here is now I didn't get all these all the one time either just in case you're wondering all the young fellas out there wondering how come I've got all these tools all of a sudden these are um, this is an accumulation over a little bit of time so save up a little bit of money and order something works out a little bit more expensive than buying like a whole kit but who wants to wait for that to get a whole kit. It's the uh, Southord tubular pick 7 and 8 pin. Um, I'll do a little do a little video on with these again as well later on. These are um, yeah very nice little picks actually. I quite like them. I like them a lot. And what else? We've got this little baby right here. This is my HPC electric pick. PG, this works brilliant. Um, did take me a little while to learn how to use this, and I probably wouldn't suggest that you try it on um, on your best locks if you've never used one before. Um, I tried them on a couple of old Lockwood cylinders that I had here, and the first one I just wrecked. Uh, it took a little bit to get the um, to get the setting right on them. But uh, yeah, just a word, word of warning. Just yeah, be very careful. Don't go jamming it in in your good locks because you might do what I didn't. Just choose them up, choose them to pieces. 
but once you get used to it, it's um, yeah, very nice little bit of gear. Once you get these all charged up, ready to go. And I think that's about it for the minute. Uh, yeah, that was about it. Got any, uh, some bits and pieces in there. I thought, oh, and no, I have, I've got some more stuff. Aha! There's a, it's a HU100. This is a Lishi. Now I'm not exactly sure, to be honest with you, what this. Yeah, sorry about that, everybody. Ran out of memory on the on memory card. So it was up to HU100 Lishi pick. Um, not sure what this is going to fit yet, to be honest with you. I have absolutely no idea. Um, but we have got the HU43, and that one does fit the Holden Commodore. Got some nice little pick. Um, got some uh, some mica shim. It's all very nice. Got a uh, cheap plug spinner. Um, the only problem with this is that um, the little attachments that they give with you are just way too big to go in any of our um, Aussie keyways. So I'm going to have to come up with some sort of way of um, either grinding them down or making a little attachment myself to go in here that will turn our keyways. Um, couple of cross locks, uh, cross picks. Not that you see too many of the cross locks around anymore, but there you go. They're there for a rainy day. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. That's about it for the time being. Uh, yeah, it's got some stuff hanging around. This is a lock I got from Windows Tweaker. It's probably forgotten all about this. Haven't been able to pick it, but um, we got a cook in here. There you go. It's open with uh, American Bypass tool. Sweet.